Welcome back everyone to Who Finally Plays the Bjorning and I'm here with Tondri Greyhammer to tell him that I have been killing orcs and goblins and the like all over the landscape. What in the name of all the dwarves has my son had you do? Uh, to kill orcs and goblins. Traveling to all the regions in which the Greyhammer has been wrong to slaying a single orc in each? I cannot believe you humored him with this. Does a Bjorning such as you have nothing more pressing to do than this? If my son Ulf and his brother spent less time dreaming up ways to tell folks of their grievances with the orcs and more time training and working, perhaps we would have found some precious gemstones by now. Take this for your effort, Pineclaw. I will speak with Wolf myself. It is high time he begin doing something productive with his time he currently spends complaining to strangers about his lot in life. All right, and I get a scroll of empowerment, which is for a level 65 legendary item, so I might as well apply it since... It's not going to be used for anything later. All right, let's see. Execute damage or bear form damage, all right? Let's throw it on to bear form damage, which is now at four. And let's see. Probably just... As, oh, I got it to full. All right. Last time I reforged this... I didn't care too much about some extra overage, but now it looks like that's just as well I didn't overly concern myself with that. Actually, it was bear form damage I wanted to put my points into. Oh, well. <clears throat> well, I got two. All right, I got that up to rank three. I have execute now at the full, so that's... That'll do. That'll do it. Besides, at some point, I will be turning this in for something else after I get to a higher level. Now, let's head off to the 21st Hall. Now, you may be wondering, when did I kill all those orcs and goblins and uruks and half-orcs and all that stuff? I didn't show those. Well, yes, I actually had recorded a, an episode where I was going all over the place, killing all those things, and... For two reasons, I decided not to post it. One was, it looked like a pretty boring episode. And number two, was that would have been episode 100. And you don't want a really boring episode for episode 100, of course. And it's episode 100, I thought that would be a perfect place to do my finale, which is why I'm coming in here at the 21st Hall. So therefore, let's finish up volume two. Hello, Bori. What do you need? Thank you for coming back to Khazad Doom, my friend. It was a long journey for Broin and me, and we spoke at length concerning the Mithril Axe. It has brought us little but misery, and my cousin convinced me that it could still do great harm in the future if wielded. Truth be told, I did not need much convincing. I have seen firsthand the recklessness the axe stirs in the hearts of those who wield it. My stay in the dungeons of Dol Goldar speaks loudly of this point. Our fathers initially resisted, but have now grudgingly assented to our plan. The dwarves cannot retain possession of Ziegelberg. Speak with me again, and we will make this a reality. All that trouble we took to get it, we now it's time to turn it back. And do what must be done. Let's do it. Or undo it, I guess. The dwarves Bori and Brerin have arrived at a momentous decision to return the mithril axe Ziegelberg to the place where it was found, never to be wielded by friend or foe again. That'll be quite a legend. We have certainly come a long way since I enlisted your aid in the Iron Garrison, have we not? Who can say they expected you to be such help to us? Uh, I must admit, I did not. We dwarves of the Iron Garrison are gathering to witness the sealing of the Mithril Axe in the very depths of Gangaroth. I am sure all will 
wish to speak with you as you make your way to Broin. All right. Take your time, Pineclaw. I know many dwarves wish to speak with you on the way. Yeah, that's right. As we, first of all, we need to go down this way. As I said, there's a reason I chose this as the final mission for the volume. Very good, very good, my friend. I am glad you have come. I know it is important to Broin that you be here. I remember still how you took it upon yourself to slay the Kriban that sought to spy on the iron garrison at our encampment just outside the Holine Gate. Who knows what evils you forestalled that day? Those filthy birds will report no news of our doings to their mysterious master, thank you! And thanks to the dwarf who asked you to do it as well. I cannot remember. Now, who wished to use to put those talons, but I am sure it was a good one. Yeah, I do wonder what those things were going to be used for. All right, let's go. And you remember this place? At least I don't have to open up the doors again. My dwarves have called upon today to collapse the passage leading to Gan Garaf. Once the mithril axe has been left within. It is strange to me to be covering up a passage rather than uncovering it. Indeed, you helped my dwarves unearth the doors of Durin from the west gate, did you not? We have had much hardship since then, and look now at the glory of the Iron Garrison. The true work has only just begun. It will take several lifetimes of dwarves to restore the majesty of Casa Doom. And saying that is probably left because of the fact that Kazatun wasn't restored until the Fourth Age, but perhaps what Tolkien was talking about was the final restoration. Maybe the Iron Garrison does survive, despite my thinking that it probably doesn't. You have not seen you I have not seen you since you passed into Moria, Pineclaw. How has the legendary weapon I gave you from the relics unearthed in Eregion served? What? Huh? You replaced it? Oh, I see. Well, that is sometimes the way of weapons, is it not? He, even so, it was my pleasure to start you on the path of discovering truly legendary items. <laughs> yeah, that it was nice they had that little joke and dig on legendary items that you inevitably wound up replacing it. Alright, here we go. Swaina? Watch your step, Pineclaw. The footing here is treacherous. Who am I to tell you what is treacherous? We first met when I boldly charged into the deepest reaches of the Silvertine Lows to challenge a nest of goblins in combat. I could have handled myself admirably and was about to do so, but your intervention was still appreciated. Ah, uh, but I'll do it again, goblins beware! Alright. And I took a wrong turn! Who said that? Yeah, okay, he did warn me about the treacherous path and that things can go wrong. Die! Understand the words, don't just read them. Alright, stilling. Look, Willie, if this isn't our counterpart, Pineclaw. You may not remember Pineclaw, but Willie and I launched a diversionary strike that guarded the junction while you and Bori faced off against. Akshpar in Stangsnak. It was no easy thing keeping the orcs from returning while you were still within the camp, but we managed it. All right. We performed enough great feats that day to keep a dozen bards busy for a fortnight, uh, didn't we, Wheelie? <laughs> yeah, we did, stealing. Only a fortnight? Hmm. Anyway, of course, Wheelie is also what we have with the Battle of the 21st Hall. As you can see, we managed to hold out against the orcs, Pineclaw. Thorger and I kept the supplies flowing to each of the Iron Garrison outposts within Casa Doom. You were a big part of our success in keeping the lines of supply flowing, and we thank you for it. Thorger and I are both at your service, and your families. Alright, and 
And we continue down. Let's see, make sure I don't take a wrong turn again. Let's see. But I did it anyway! Yes! Perfect! <laughs> uh. Oh, 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 oh! Hello, hello, hello! Uh, careful, Pine Claw, this water here is rapid! <sighs> oh, my cousin Spore is still on duty, scouting the approaches to the Chamber of Crossroads, but I know that Spore appreciated your help in chasing out the Orc Spies before the Great Battle. It was well done, Pine Claw, and it has been a pleasure working to reclaim the halls of Casa Doom with such a staunch ally as you. Watch your feet! The water here is swift. Yeah, I know what you mean. Alright. Whoops. Oh, this fun little place. Actually, probably best to come up here. Alright, good. And just hope I don't face a pair of matriarchs again here. You are almost to Gan Garaf, Pine Claw. I did not think it would be this far, but Melmar has assured me that it is close. Are you certain, Melmar? Oh, well. Aye, uh, aye, you are almost there. I know these flooded deeps you see. Alright, good to know. Uh, did I not find the very bottom of the well, Buffy? Ha <laughs> uh, you did, and I give you credit for walking rather than falling. <laughs> I'm not too sure I've ever read that little exchange that far. I think I always left after the second line. <laughs> uh, look at us, Pine Claw. Did you ever think we would be in such a place, about to leave a weapon of such power buried beneath the great stone walls, never to be used? Is this the right course of action? Well, that is for Balsy and Broger and their sons to decide. We do our duties as they are assigned to us, and we must trust that they know best. Uh, did you doubt me when I sent you to salvage usable weapons from all around Casa Doom? It was for a good cause, was it not? <laughs> Aye, it was. For the very survival of the Iron Garrison. Actually, I don't think we did that quest. That was actually a side quest. <laughs> but, alright. There's next. Ah! These tunnels will not be used by dwarves the following this day. What tales will spring up among our younger kin concerning our actions, I wonder? Already I've told my boy of the great skill with which you dispatched goblin runners in the flooded deeps for me. He is amazed at the number, uh, though to be truthful I had forgotten how many it was. A uh, fifty? A uh, hundred? I thought it was five, but alright. Uh, who can remember? Well, yeah. It was five. Well, it had to be at least five, but I think maybe only a couple more than five. Stop, cow! I have come to witness the sealing away of Ziegelberg myself, Pine Claw, and few of my dwarves could bear to come with me. The mithril axe was forged at the heart of fire during the time long past, and for it to be no longer bewildered seems a great shame to me. I understand that the axe has brought grief to the dwarves of the Iron Garrison, but as a forge master and a dwarf to whom burns the fire craftwork, the moon above the mountains will set today upon a different world. It will be a lesser world that does not have Ziegelberg in it. Alright. And here we are at the spider room. I knew you would not miss this moment, Pineclaw. You that you are. It seems that adventure follows you wherever you pass. The feats of heroism we committed in the depths of Buzumgar and in Rushdrunil are still a wonder to me, and still be until the end of my days, I am sure. The tales for which we have been a part of will echo in the cavern heights of even the grandest ale hall of Casa Doom. Sing the song of Ovar Bellhammer and Pine Claw the Beorning, they will say. 
Which song will they reply? All right. And now to the downstairs. To where? Oops. To where we fought the Spider Queen, which was the last place. And wait, did I? Hang on, I. Right. Did I hope I didn't miss somebody? Whoops. Or is whoops. All right. Somehow I missed Balsy. Where did I miss Balsy? Oh, well. I was beginning to get suspicious when I saw saw to see these dwarves without quest rings because. All right. Where is Balsy? Balsy. Oh, Balsy. Oh, there. You, oh, oh yes, of course, because I cut a corner there, and of course, cutting the corner missed the quest giver. Do. Welcome back to Casa Doom Pineclaw! For the great service you have done my family for rescuing my son from the dungeons of Dol Guldur, you will always have a home here, if you want it. I know Broger is not pleased with the idea of leaving Zeelberg in the depths of the Ka Gan Karax untouched, but the Mithril Axe has brought us little but grief. I agree with my son and my nephew on this. Better for Zeelberg never to have been found, I say. Right. Now we're back on course, and I can see the wonderful quest rings up the head that line the passage. Do not. I intend to. Do you intend to go along with this foolish decision of my son and nephew to leave Ziegelberg here in the depths? This is a mistake, Pineclaw. I am certain my misfortune brought on us by the Mithril Axe would have befallen us even without it. Why abandon such a weapon? Surely we would have need of it again. Can you say we will not? To abandon such a weapon seems the height of foolishness to me, Pineclaw. Alright. Then, next. Thank you for coming to us, Pineclaw. Broin is just ahead with Ziegelberg. It is for the best. The Mithril Axe should remain unused for now on, left for all the ages of the world in the watery chamber where we found it. Broin is just ahead. Alright, and here we are. And just ahead and down. And here we are. This is the last time I will stand within the walls of Gongaroth, Pineclaw. I remember when I crawled, dripping and scared, out of the pool, and lay my eyes upon this flooded chamber. Were it not for Ziegelberg clutched in the hands of the dwarf Oin, friend of my grandfather's, I could not have kept the terrible beast of the pool at bay. It is time to return the Mithril Axe to the place where I found it. I have borrowed Ziegelbert for long enough. I return it now to your keeping, Master Oin. And now, may it keep it safe through the long years. Climb the rubble out of this chamber and tell Bori it is done. Alright then. Let's... Oh. Yeah, I managed to actually successfully climb it. Yay! So now, let's get out of here. We don't want to be sealed inside, do we? And here are all the dwarves. 
So it is done. It is good to know that Ziegelberg will trouble the dwarves no more. Are you ready, Broin? I am. Seal the passage! Now, I'm not too sure this is the best way to seal a passage, but... Apparently they did pretty good calculations there. Very well. There let it lie until the end of days. Let us return to the 21st Hall. We have done what we set out to do. We have made the difficult choice. The right one. It is for the best, my friend. I must thank you again, Pineclaw. Abandoning such a precious and valuable weapon is not an easy thing even for dwarves for whom it has brought much grief. But it is for the best. Desire to possess items of such beauty and value have often led my people down the path of misfortune. With your help, Broin and I have had the chance to turn aside from the path before it was too late. Get a scroll of delving to add another ten levels to this item that is probably going to stick with me for the at the, at least at the beginning of volume three. You must slay Gorothur and end his menace. I wish I could, but that's not solo boy. And anyway, I feel that this is a fitting ending for the volume, and that concludes volume two of Piney Plays The Beording. Originally, I was planning to resume volume three in September. But since I cut the epilogues of Volume 2 short, I am going to start right away with Volume 3. So tune in tomorrow when we start a new series of Pine Leaf Plays The Bjorning, Volume 3. Good day.